Pacific Heritage Academy has three baskets of knowledge that help shape and mould our children's learning experience. First one is effective learner, second one is ethical leader, and the third one is contributor to a better world. I'd like to discuss the third basket, contributor to a better world. When you ask yourself why do you teach, you automatically reflect on your own passions and desires. Our teachers chose to teach at Pacific Heritage for a reason, but you ask every one of them why and they will tell you that it stems from their love for children and a desire to help our families, communities, nation and the world so we can live in a better place. Like Whitney Houston sings, I believe the children are our future is truly a visionary statement that resonates with every single teacher. By teaching and providing these experiences, we allow our students to feel, see, and hear what this means and is the foundation of why we teach. From there, we migrate to various other paths that we choose using critical thinking skills and transfer the learning into understanding and application so it's relevant to the individual. This migratory journey is just one step in our students' lives where learning makes sense and there's a thought process behind it that is rational, evidence-based and fills our very core and being with an understanding of how we can make a difference in the world we live in. Hi, my name is Daylin Kingston and I teach third grade. I'm Irene Lolofia and I teach kindergarten. Hi, I'm Kumu Bryam. Uh, Johnson and I teach the fifth grade. Talofa, my name is Semi Lu and I'm the seventh and eighth grade English language arts teacher here at Pacific, Pacific Heritage, Heritage Academy. Academy. I graduated high school from American Samoa and it was important to my parents that we further our education so they sent me to the States where I received my degrees and now I'm a teacher here. We came to Utah to Salt Lake City in 2013 and I was looking for a school for my two oldest children at the time and we came across Pacific Heritage Academy and we have loved it. We have loved it ever since. And I really enjoy the community and the people and I knew this would be a school that embraces that community and that culture of, uh, and embraces all the differences um, and we celebrate that and I, I love that about this school and I love that our teachers um, love our kids. Um, you, you feel that and it's one big family. Some of my favorite things about PHA is that a lot of like people don't really fight and always collaborate with each other. It's really like fun over here. And yeah. When they first opened the school, we were really excited about bringing uh, Pacific Islander culture to a public school setting. We also incorporated the Latino culture because of the community. Um, and so it's just been a really great place to come together and learn about all the differences that make us unique. In our classroom we do English language arts, we do math, we do science, and we do social studies. And I try to create an environment where the students use what they learn, where we put what we're learning to good use. With hands-on activities, with experiments, with stories that help them to think and to grow, and the ability to edit their work, to change it, and to learn from their mistakes. Because there is no learning if we can't learn from our mistakes. And the students do well. It's something that they then retain and that they can apply to their daily life at home. And if they can apply it, they can remember it. And that's the most important thing that a child will take out of the classroom. One of the things I loved learning about was science, because we learned about the geological time scale and how fossils got under the world, well, under us, and DNA. Um, one thing I loved learning about was math because we got to learn um, fractions um, with the fraction pieces and we got to learn more about um, multiplication um, and how to solve them in different ways. When a student leaves PHA, I want them to know that they've got a whole crew of people standing behind them. I want them to know that no matter where they go or what they accomplish, whether big or small, they've got cheerleaders on their side. They've got people who are going to attend their graduations and cheer for them as they move forward. I want them to know that they can use that knowledge to do anything in the world that they choose to do. I want them to know that they can problem solve, that they can figure things out on their own, and if they need help, there's no shame in asking for it. That they can always come back and they have people who are standing here still clapping for them, no matter how old they get or how far they go.